Hi everyone, it's Jane. How are you going? I thought I'd come on and just share a bit of a progress report of sorts um, on the pens that I inked up at the beginning of the month for August. Um, some of them have worked really well for me, um, others not so much, and so I thought I'd just go through each of them with you. Um, at the moment I only have one pen out of all of these that still has ink left in it and it's actually on its second fill for this month. So let's start at the beginning. Um, this one has been written dry, it hasn't been cleaned yet but it's been written dry. This is the Twisby Eco Tea in Saffron with a broad nib and I had it inked with butter popcorn. I've had butter popcorn in this pen before and it just works so beautifully. Um, so that's a favorite so that was that's been written dry um my next one is this one here my just turnings custom copper line um it has a platinum 3776 medium nib on it and i had it into a teranashi opera rose it's still inked with that because it's on its second fill um it won't last me much longer though i'll probably write that dry today as well but yeah that's um that is on its second fill. So I'll just put times two there. Uh, the next one we had was the Visconti um, Van Gogh, the novel reader with a medium nib. This was beautiful. Like I just, I had it into a Diamine Sierra. It flowed really well. I'm quite lucky. Like some people find the Visconti nibs a bit hit and miss. I've been very fortunate with mine. Um, and they've never given me any problems so that was the next pen loved that pairing should I actually be writing down beside them how I enjoyed each of them probably that would be helpful and we'll talk about oh sorry everyone um, we'll talk about this one so this was an A this one definitely an A plus this one an A2. So next one we have here is the Estabrook SD in Tortoise with a medium nib and I had it inked with a sample from the Desk Bandit. Um, it was Troublemaker Nanita um, and that that was um, really lovely too. This has a crazy, it's like it has a ready brown base and a crazy amount of green sheen like a lime green sheen it's a very unusual ink i quite i quite like it so that was the next one um i enjoyed that one as well so but i think with it yeah no we'll go away for that too so the next one i had inked up was the twisby eco jade with a 1.1 stub nib this one here and i had it inked with a sample um from Robert Oster, Jewel in the Crown. Now this ink has um, a crazy amount of shimmer in it. Um, really beautiful, very, very pretty, sort of like a light green gray base with um, sort of coppery pink shimmer on top of it. Now I thought I originally had it in my Conklin Durograph in the Demo Rose Gold and it worked really well for about a day. I took it up to the Southeast Queensland Journal Keepers Meetup and I was getting everyone to write with it and say, hey, try this, you know. Um, and then the next day I went to use it and it was completely clogged. Um, I tried a few different things and none of them seemed to work. So I emptied the rest of that fill and then I decided to ink this pen up with it and ink up a stub nib and my Twisby Ecos with a stub nib or a broad nib hold up to shimmer really well. So I thought, okay, I'll try it in this pen and I think same thing happened. I used it for a few days on and off. Um, I had it stored like this because some people say if you store it like that all the shimmer falls to the bottom and it gets clogged but it was stored upright um, and it's still clogged. So I don't know whether it's just a matter of the sample that I got um, had a lot of shimmer in it and was very shimmer heavy or whether it's the actual ink. Um, I wouldn't mind actually getting another sample just to try it and see if it was just the sample that I had that had a lot of shimmer in it. Um, but at this stage I'm not ready to sort of 
buy a whole bottle of it if it's going to keep clogging my pens, if that makes sense. So that was the next one. Um, oh, I should write in there. That's, I love the colour of it. I think it's a beautiful ink, but yeah. Clogged chair pen, so we give it a C. Now the next one, uh, written dry, was this Lamy All Star in petrol. It has a medium nib and it had an inch with the Robert Oster and Desk Bandit um, exclusive, the Great Owl. It's like a beautiful mauve grey colour. It shades really well. Um, this pen handled it very well. Um, I enjoyed it. it. It worked quite well. So I'm trying to think, was there anything I didn't like about the combination? Mm, not really. I don't think so. So that'll be an A2. Oh, and I've got ink there. Hang on, I'll just do this. Just clean that off. So that was the next one. Um, I should put the ones that I've actually gone through already up there. So the next one was this uh, Twisby Eco Tea in Royal Jade and Rose Gold. I had it into a Diatramentus Jane Austen. Beautiful pairing, did not let me down. This is, the Jane Austen's just a standard ink. Has no sheen or shimmer or anything like that. Um, it does shade a little bit, but I just really enjoy the combination. Um, it was beautiful to write with. So I think we'll give that one an A+, because I, I like that one. Okay. Um, now the next one we had was this um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Dragon Palace with a medium fine nib. And I had it um, inked with Sailor Shikiori Yamadori. And that's got a little bit of a, a red sheen to it. Now... I, I find this Sailor Shikiori Yamadori, it's usually quite a saturated colour, but I found in the medium fine nib it held up really well. There were no stopping or starting issues like that, but I just found it was a little bit dry. I don't know whether it's a medium fine nib on it, and because I've been writing with broads and really juicy mediums. So, um, and for those of you that don't know, the Japanese nibs tend to be a lot finer than what your European nibs would be. So, um, I don't think it was dry, but I think I was just, it was a lot to go from, say, riding with this Twisby Broad Nib, which is a really juicy nib, to then riding with this. Um, but I still enjoy the experience, and I, if I want to write small, this is, the medium fine nibs um, on the Sailors are really good for that. Now, the next one I had was this little Pilot Kakuno. Um, I had it inked with a just a black Namiki cartridge, Pilot Namiki black cartridge. And I thought, you know, I just wanted a black ink. And I thought, oh, I'll just give this a go and see how it writes. It was beautiful. I really enjoyed writing with it. These little Pilot Kakunos are a rather inexpensive pen. And I'm, I've got a medium nib of mine and it just writes so well. It's got a smooth nib, it's beautiful to write with. And I liked this black ink so much that I've actually gone and purchased a bottle of it. Um, hasn't arrived yet but yeah I mean the only other black ink I've really got is the Noodler's Bulletproof Black um, and I don't mind that um, it's okay I don't love it and then the other black ink I've got is the Ferris Wheel Press Roaring Patina Black but that's got a lot of shimmer and sheen in it so I just wanted a standard black ink that I would enjoy using that flowed well um, and that ended up being it I think it was eight dollars for a 30 mil bottle so not a bad price that's aussie dollars um most inks over here are sort of around the 20 to 30 dollar range if not a lot more than that so eight dollars for a bottle of ink for 30 mils is pretty good value so that was the last one out of the ones that i inked up and then i had these two left over from the previous month so this one here had Robert Oster Velvet Storm in it, so I wrote that one dry. And this Twisby um, Eco with a broad nib had the Ferris Hill Press Story Blue, so I wrote that one dry too. So the only, oh hang on, I'm not, I forgot about doing these. 
So that was, I don't know, I think I'm going to give this one a B. It was okay. This one was an A. Loved that. Now, the only one that I still have inked up is this one. And as I said, it's on its second fill. I'll probably write that one dry today. Um, here in Australia, the date is the 21st of August. So I have gone through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pens um, this month. And this one's on its second fill, as I said. And so I'm going to have to ink up some more before the end of the month. And I'm trying to decide what I'll ink up. I've kind of put aside some pens that I want to use next month. Um, so we're in our last month of winter here in Australia. Next month is spring. So I'm wanting to be more sort of vibrant with my choices and and sort of pick you know like more pretty colored um, inks um, more sort of I guess spring based so um, so that's that and then so last night I decided to ink up this so I've just got dye mine Oxford blue in it um, it's the just turnings um, mimus pen that Stephen and Michelle gave me and it has a fine nib on it I've just got yeah as I said inked with diamond oxford blue which is just like a standard blue ink nothing special about it um, but I just felt like writing with blue um, now this pen is so pretty I'm hoping that you can see it it's just gorgeous it has these sort of real sort of electric blues these future pinks and this almost like this isopole sort of silvery color here. So I've decided to name this pen my summer popsicle pen. So it's no longer going to be called the Mimus number 55, Stephen and Michelle. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to call it summer popsicle because it kind of reminds me of a popsicle. And I think your friend of um, mine actually pointed that out to me as well. She said, oh, it's like a popsicle. So I'm going to call it summer popsicle. So I've got that inked up with Diamond Oxford Blue and I've still got this one which is um, got the Teranashi Opera Rose. So I guess stay tuned and see what I ink up next for the rest of the month um, and we'll take it from there. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Take care. See you back here next time. Bye.